Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can generate unique identifier for your SharePoint list item every time a new item created inside that list. We can achieve this using Power Automate. Let's just talk about how we can do this. Before going ahead, we'll talk about these uh, user ID and ID column that we have created inside this list ID generator list. So this ID column is the internal uh, column, which is uh, by default comes with every list and it is an incremental start with one. And this user ID column, if you see, I have created this as a custom column with a single line of text type. And uh, I have enforced this unique value, yes. That means uh, this user ID column cannot have duplicates values. So I'll go in my Power Automate now and uh, try to create automated cloud flow. Trigger will be when an item is created inside a SharePoint list and flow name will be ID generator. Site address will be my dev site where my list residing and list name is obviously the list ID generator, which is this, this one. Next step will be, I will uh, create a variable or I will uh, initialize a variable. I will name it as an ID type will be string and the value will be so I want to put prefix like UID and after that I'm going to expression and uh, just typing format date time and inside that I will type UTC now comma colon I need current year then hours, then minutes, and then seconds. So this is the format I'm looking for. So on the basis of second, I will have unique ID every time. Click OK, and uh, that's it. Now I will go to SharePoint action again, and I will say update item action. This one, select the same site address, this is the dev site, same list name, that is a list ID generator. And in the ID, this is the mandatory one. So I'll map when an item is created, internal ID. So that's the column which I've shown you here. So in that case, it will pick that one. And uh, user ID, I have to update. So user ID will be this variable ID value. And I will just save it. My flow is saved. I'll go to my list, try to create a test entry. Save it. As you can see, the ID is 34. That means uh, prior to this, I have created 33 uh, entries inside this particular SharePoint list. So this ID column is incremental. It's keep on adding. It's not like that if you have deleted something, it will reset to one so it's keep on adding so you can create your unique identifier based on this id as well so we'll talk about that as well but uh we'll wait our flow to run first it succeeded i will refresh this so as you can see the user id is created it's like uid the current year and then uh, hours and then minutes and then second and if i try to create a new entry here again just create an entry i'll try to create multiple entries like this so as you see for this particular one it has already created a uid and for this one it will create so as you see it has created a uh, third UID for this particular user ID for the third entry and all has a different value because we have enforced the unique value for this user ID column. So if there is any you know, duplicate entry, it will not accept it and there will be an error thrown. Another approach could be we can have UID then current year and we can leverage this ID column value to this particular UID as well. So how to do this? What you have to do is, so in the variable itself, uh, if you go to your date time format, you have to just uh, 
remove this second minutes and hours update it we'll first uh, see that whether it has updated or not if we hover yeah it has been updated and after that i can just add item id so means item id will be the current item id the item which is created that way and it will give us that exact number that we are looking for so we'll test it again test four save this so the id is 37 and if i go here and now you see uid current year is 2023 and uh, 37 is the ID number which it's giving so that way you can uh, create your own combination of user ID for your uh, list item that you are generating these are the some uh, you know solid approach which you can leverage into your uh, system and uh, there will be pretty less chance to uh, you know get duplicate user ID so I hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching